first. Tom, you want to get us going? Yeah, Jalen, your your perspective on that play, that the, the controversial spike, non-spike fumble play, what'd you see? Um, you know, we thought he had uh, threw it backwards uh, once he received the ball, and uh, Joe Fouché did a good job of uh, put on top of it. You know, we thought it was a fumble, but, you know, sometimes the game doesn't bounce your way, and that scenario is what it was. So we just got to swallow one. Tough one to swallow, but we got to swallow it, get back in the film room, and just get ready for Ole Miss next week. Jalen, uh, Auburn ran the ball for I think 259 yards today. What what made it so? What, what were they doing on the run game? They haven't really. No one's really run the ball on you like that this year. Uh, it was just one of those games. You know, the conditions was different, and you know, we just had to kind of uh, tighten up and just get uh, come together. You know, and you know, as a defense, I feel like there's it was one of those games where we all messed up and did some things that we got to fix out, but. Uh, I, I have to note that people that stepped up, though, and did their part, like Hudson Clark at corner, you know, he came in, did his thing. Kyrie Johnson came in at corner as well, stepped up, made some huge plays. So those guys stepped in when, you know, things weren't going our way and made some huge plays. But we'll get back in the film room and see what we did wrong, what we have to fix. But uh, overall, I'm proud of our defense and the guys that stepped in and did their thing. And, uh, couldn't be happy to play with them. Yeah, Jalen, I guess just get your thoughts on the, the team's tackling today and then the way you guys defended Anthony Schwartz and, and Seth Williams. I think they had 13 grabs for like 170 in a, in a score today. Uh, overall, uh, I know tackling wasn't the, our best thing today and tonight, but like I said, we'll get back in the film room and see what we got to do to uh, work on and definitely probably emphasize tackling uh, this upcoming week. Uh, I felt like we had a good game plan going in. We knew 18-1 and one were the top receivers, and we were trying to hold them as much as possible. I think we did a good job for the most part, you know. I think they got open a little bit on some scrambles and uh, got loose a little bit. But I felt like we did actually a pretty good job containing them for the most part. They just kind of made some big plays when they needed to at the end that we have to, you know, minimize. But overall, I'm proud of our defense from the D-line, linebacker to the back end for straining and, uh, you know, fighting to the very end. Jalen, obviously, this is a tough one to muster today. Um, what was happening in the first half? Uh, windy, rainy, were you guys able to, to grab a hold of Auburn or were your hands just slipping off of them? It seems like they were breaking a lot of tackles in the game, too. Yeah, we were slipping around. No, it was in the best uh, field to uh, play on in the conditions and everything. And, you know, it was different for us. But like our coach always said, there's no excuses, you know, no matter we play in sun, rain, cold, snow, you know, we got to be ready at all times. And there's no excuse for us to uh, do what we did. But, you know, we did some things that we that just were unacceptable, but we kind of pulled together uh, towards second quarter going into ha halftime and uh, second half. And uh, I think our tackling got a lot better, but, you know, definitely wasn't our best tonight. But like I said, we're going to get in the film room and see what we have to do. And, uh, We'll, we'll get back right for sure. Nikki. Um, Jalen, there were there were quite a few penalties on special teams. What do you what do you guys think the issues were? Was it communication? Just um, you know, different guys making different mistakes. What 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 happened there? Um, I wasn't really on special teams as far as everything went, so I'm not sure what happened. You know, I knew we had some people lined up in the wrong place, but. Uh, that's just something that we have to go look on film and see what we did wrong. And that's something we just got to fix. You know, I, that was one of those things we just can't shoot ourselves in the foot with. But um, that's just one of those things where we just have to go in the film room and just figure out, you know, what went wrong, you know, how we're going to, how we got to line up and uh, cover and all that. But uh, we'll, we'll get back right for sure. You know, I, I'm, we have a great special teams coach and coach found, you know, he has a great plan for us. So we'll get back right. And I know he's going to have a great plan for us going next week and we know we're going to execute it. Let me know if you've got more in the chat, Tom. Jalen, was anybody able to go over and say hi to Chad tonight? Are you aware of any of that? Uh, I didn't see. Uh, after the game, I just I talked to a couple of players after the game and went our way. So I didn't see who was uh, who talked to him or not or anything like that. Jalen, uh, 
what do you think it says about this team that y'all got down 17 nothing early and, and fought back and took the lead? I mean, what, what is was there a different feeling on the sideline this year when y'all got down early like that? I, it's a, a big difference, you know. I just didn't see panic, you know. We're down 17 nothing, you know. And it was easy for us to get down, blame, start pointing fingers, but that's not what we did. We just looked at each other and we said, I got you, you got me mentality. And it showed, you know, we came back, made a couple stops, offense, uh, put together, stringed together some good drives with some scores. And before you know, we're back in the game. So that just shows that we have the ability to come back no matter what happens. And uh, whoever gets hit at us, we're going to uh, bounce back from it. So I'm proud of this team for uh, coming back, straining to the very end. And, you know, wish there were a couple calls that went our way. But, you know, football's like that. You just got to swallow it and move on. Last one, Scotty. Jalen, I'm curious just what Felipe's demeanor was like throughout the game. You know, you guys fall down by, by three scores. Just, could you, I guess, just speak to his leadership and just his um, just the way he kind of led the offense, guided the offense today? Uh, sorry, can you repeat that again? I'm sorry. Yeah, just Felipe's demeanor and his leadership and you know, leading the offense back from an early hole. Felipe is a baller. I mean, you, no matter what happens, I never see Felipe, you know, get shook by anything. You know, he always he always has his head high. He's always motivating us to keep going no matter what the scenario is. And it showed tonight, you know, down 17 nothing, And, you know, it's easy to get down and everything. But you just saw that uh, look in his eye that he was ready to go no matter what. And you saw him like string together some good drives, which gave us defense and confidence to say, OK, we got a quarterback that's going to do a thing. Let's do our thing. And you, like I said, before you know, we're back in the game. And, you know, they had that uh, that score toward the end. And uh, I was proud of him for putting string together a drive. Because Auburn has a good defense. And uh, he did his thing, you know. Like I said, I wish there was a couple calls that went our way towards the end to finish off the game. But it is what it is. But I'm proud. I'm proud of Felipe. And I'm glad he's our quarterback. And I wouldn't want anyone else on our team. Thanks, Jalen. Appreciate you.